Are you tired of your poor little fingers getting hurt while you work? Well, I've got five tools that will make your life easier on your next fence building project. Fencing pliers. This is a must have if you're gonna be building fence. Whether it's chain link or wood fence, maybe vinyl, these things really come in handy and they are an absolute must in the hand tool department. They're good for twisting wire. They're good for screwing on or holding bolts and nuts. And they also come, most fencing pliers come with a little cutout here on either side to cut wire. You're gonna be doing a lot of that when building fence. And they make a lot of different types of these but fence specific pliers are always a great choice. If you're following our videos, you should be familiar with the next item, the bear hold. This item is really good specifically for chain link fence. If you're wanting to stretch wire along a short run or a medium run, if you've got a couple of these, this tool right here works excellent. Uh, now they come in different sizes depending upon what terminal post you have. They have a cutout here where you put the tension bar in and pretty much loop this around the post and then give it a pull and it will tighten the wire for you. Now they make different versions of this same thing. This happens to be my personal favorite for short runs and such. This would be another version. This is kind of a universal bear hold. Now the only difference being that this does not lock into place, but these are kind of handy in certain situations. This is the pull jack. Now this is probably the most OG of them all. This thing has been around a while and it's been in probably every fence guy's toolbox uh, since the dawn of fence. This pretty much works the same way as the bear hold. It stretches and tightens the fence, only you have a little bit of a hydraulic lever point in here to tighten it up as you go. This is a twisting T. Now this particular one is pretty handy and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space inside your toolbox. There's a piece that comes out here and that can go in like this. This particular hand tool is used for stretching bottom wire or barbed wire. Again, this is pretty chain link specific, but we do a lot of that here at Ozark Fence and we do a lot of bottom wire and barbed wire. Something like this is a must have. Now there are other versions of this such as the homemade tea and this pretty much works the same way now this is a little miniature version that we use here in the shop for twisting barbed wire but you get the idea real quick guys apologies but are you tired of your suppliers running out of fencing materials right before your big job you're going to want to check out mid-america fence supply i'm not saying they have the world supply of fencing materials but they've got a decent chunk of it now what would a top five video in construction be without a hammer? And specifically, an orange hammer. This is a very versatile tool. It's used for hammering in nails. It's used for construction. It's used for destruction. This is a very versatile tool. This would be a really good tool for having on a job where you're building wood fence. It's also handy building chain link fence hammering around parts. Maybe you're wanting to adjust hinges without having to take them off. This is a go-to tool. Number five, it's a bit of a pickle. We only have one choice left and there's so many other tools to grab. It comes down to two in my mind. That would be number one, a level. Number two, a tape measure. Now, if it's me, I know what I'm choosing. I'm gonna be choosing the tape measure. This is an absolute must if you want to get precise cuts or precise measurements on your fence. The level would be my number six, but since this is a top five, we can't really count this. But if we could, I would definitely throw it in right behind the tape measure. This is gonna be really good for leveling out posts, leveling out your rails and such. You can get by without this by eyeballing, but you really don't wanna do a whole lot of that, especially if you're trying to do a professional job. So that concludes the top five hand tools that I would pick going out on a job. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you have picked some of the same tools or maybe I forgot something and left out something very important. Hope you enjoyed our top five. Let us know what top five you would like to see on an upcoming video. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next week on Monday with Matt.